Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. And in this video, I want to show you a technique or workflow that I like to use to create interesting linear drum grooves. And I'm going to use Modern and Massive from Get Good Drums in this video. This will work with any drum instrument, but I really like these. It's easy and fun to swap out the individual kit pieces and we can mix the levels of the different mics and room mics and bleed and leakage. It's a great sounding kit. So let's get started. I'm going to use just kick, hi-hat, and snare in this exercise. So I'm going to start by just capturing a few notes. All right, so I've got four notes. I'm going to open up my editor, and I want to work in the step editor for this. And with those four notes, I'm going to go new lane set for current events. So there they are. I have the kick drum, snare, closed hi-hat, and the open hi-hat. And let's just delete all those notes. So I'm going to stretch this out and make it a two-bar region to start with. Now, the trick here is to use hi-hat mode, and we click this button here to link all these notes, and it basically makes it monophonic, meaning that if any note events happen at the same time, it'll steal the voice from where they are since only one can sound at a time. And this works great for linear drumming. Now, this is meant for hi-hat mode, for open and closed hi-hats to cut each other off since you can't have both at the same time, but it's a nice creative tool to get linear drumming which means basically only one kit piece sounds at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by holding down the command key to get the pencil tool. I'm going to go to the closed hi-hat and just draw in a series of 16th notes at different velocities. And that'll all change, of course. So what I want to do now is just randomly use other notes to steal from this and we'll get a linear kind of pattern. Now I know I want the kick here and just stole that. And different velocities, of course. Let's see what that sounds like. So that works really nicely. Let's bring up the Modern and Massive kit, and I just want to bring the hi-hats up a bit. So I'm going to go to Symbols and bring these up. And let's hear it in context with some music. And if I loop it, just a regular pattern like that, it's a short pattern, of course, I can create variations, but it's going to sound like it's continually evolving, even though it's two bars repeating. I didn't even use any of the open hi-hat here, but let's try some of it here. And of course, it's got to happen where there's two hi-hat notes. Let's try that again. Didn't like that one. I'll make that one louder. And let's try that again. Let's reverse this and put another one there and get rid of that kick. So some accents are really nice. And just by, again, playing with the velocities here, we can get some really subtle ghost notes happening. And you can even go up and change the grid to 30 seconds if you want to get some little quick double strokes or rolls happening on the hi-hat or whatnot. And of course, you can just copy this pattern over and make some subtle variations if you really do want it to be evolving. But I think this sounds great. So let's explore some of the sounds in modern and massive with this. Maybe I'm going to swap out the kick. Let's try a different snare. overhead in the snare, the room mic. Maybe not, maybe the close room mic. And I can do some filtering. Let's go to the cymbals. Here's the hi-hat. Pan this to 
the center. Or the other side. So that's an idea of some of the fun you can have with the step editor and linear drum programming and modern and massive from Get Good Drums. This is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert signing out.